Hello students, in today's video, we are going to study pharmacology of uh, antiretroviral drugs. Now, antiretroviral drugs are active against HIV. So, antiretroviral drugs are also known as anti-HIV drugs. Now, here we should know what is HIV. Now, HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus uh, because this virus it reduces immunity of the body and it is a single stranded RNA virus and it possesses an enzyme known as reverse transcriptase and thus HIV is known as retrovirus. So human immunodeficiency virus that is HIV is a single stranded retrovirus that reduces immunity of the body. Now, the primary cell that is attacked by uh, HIV is the CD4 positive helper T cells. Now, T cells as we know are the immune cells of the body that fight against diseases. So, as HIV attack CD4 positive helper T cells, thereby it weakens the immune system of the body. So, immunity of the body falls. Thus, HIV causes acquired immunodeficiency syndrome that is AIDS. Now, immunosuppression leads to increased risk of opportunistic infections like pneumonia, tuberculosis, then fungal infections like candidiasis, salmonella infections, etc. Now, here it's important to understand that antiretroviral drugs or anti-HIV drugs cannot cure AIDS. Uh, but they are useful in prolonging and improving the quality of life of the patient and they also postpone complication of AIDS. Now, these drugs cannot cure uh, HIV. They cannot eradicate uh, uh, HIV. Because in AIDS or in uh, the HIV, the viral genome integrates or combines with the host DNA. So, the main function of these drugs is to cause maximum suppression of viral replication for maximum possible period of the time. Now, antiretroviral drugs are always used in combination. Now, besides this, the regimens need to be changed over time due to development of resistance. And moreover, lifelong therapy is required. Now, HIV can be uh, transmitted. Uh, it can be transmitted sexually. It can be transmitted parentally, that is uh, by infected injections or vertically, that is from mother to the child. Now, in order to understand pharmacology of uh, antiretroviral drugs or anti-HIV drugs, let's study life cycle of HIV. Uh, now, look at this chart. Now, this chart explains the life cycle of HIV. Now, this cell is a CD4 positive immune cell. Uh, now, these are red colored CD4 receptors. Now, these are chemokine co-receptors CCR5 or CXCR4. Now, any one of these uh, co-receptors is essential for the HIV to enter the host cell. Now, this is the structure of HIV. Now, HIV consists of two copies of a single-stranded RNA surrounded by a capsid and an outer envelope. Now, glycoproteins like uh, GP120, GP41 are attached to this envelope. Now, the primary cell that is uh, attacked by the HIV is the CD4 positive helper T cells. Now, besides helper T cells, other immune cells that are attacked by HIV are macrophages, monocytes and dendritic cells. Now, to enter the host cell, uh, the GP120 that is glycoprotein 120 binds to CD4 receptors of the host cell. Now, this GP120 CD4 receptor complex then interacts with the chemokine co-receptor CCR5 or CXCR4. Now, CCR5 
receptors are present on the macrophages while either CCR5 or CX, uh, CR4 receptors are present on T lymphocytes. Now very important it is the GP41, GP41 that mediates the fusion of HIV envelope with the host cell membrane. Now HIV releases its RNA and proteins like uh, for example reverse transcriptase, integrase, protease in the host cell. Now viral enzyme reverse transcriptase converts this viral RNA into proviral DNA. Now the enzyme a viral enzyme integrates, it cuts off or it uh, nicks off the host DNA and it integrates this proviral DNA into the host DNA. So now this proviral DNA becomes the part of host DNA. Now this uh, DNA is now known as the integrated DNA. Now integrated DNA is transcribed. It undergoes transcription to produce viral genomic RNA and viral messenger RNA. Now viral messenger RNA translates to produce viral polyprotein. So here a big uh, polyprotein is produced. Now the viral enzyme protease cleaves or cut this uh, polyprotein into functional viral proteins like uh, reverse transcriptase, integrase, protease and other structural proteins. Now some uh, viral proteins are utilized for the synthesis of uh, HIV envelope and capsid while other proteins are assembled with the uh, viral genomic RNA to produce uh, viral progenies. Now these viral, these mature viral progenies are released from the uh, infected CD uh, positive cell and HIV infection further spreads. So this is how uh, the HIV replicates and multiplies in the host cell. Uh, now let's uh, see to the classification of uh, antiretroviral drugs. Now first category of drugs are the nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors that is NRTIS. Now these drugs include drugs like uh, Abacavir, Didanosin, then uh, Emtricitabine, Lamivudine, Stavudine and Zidovidine. Now here uh, Tenofovir. Tenofovir is nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitors. So nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors and nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitors. Now these drugs are the backbone of uh, antiretroviral therapy. Now as you can see here these drugs they inhibit the enzyme reverse transcriptase and thereby they prevent the formation of proviral DNA from viral RNA. So um, these are the NRTIS and uh, NTRTIS. Now second category of drugs are the non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors that is the NNRTIS. Now the drugs are efavirenz and nevirapine. Now these drugs they also inhibit the enzyme reverse transcriptase and thereby they also prevent the formation of proviral DNA. Now third category of drugs are the protease inhibitors. Now these drugs include uh, this class include drugs like uh, lopina uh, lopinavir, then retonavir, then indinavir, nalfinavir. Now these drugs inhibit the viral enzyme protease and uh, thus they prevent cleavage of uh, this viral polyprotein into functional viral proteins. Now as you can see here all these uh, drugs they end with navir, lopinavir, retonavir. Uh, in the NAVR. So all these drugs they end with the NAVR. So we can identify them with NAVR uh, in the end, in the end of their names. Now next category of drugs are the integrase inhibitors. Now drugs that are included in this class are the raltigravir, 
then uh, doluti graver now these drugs they inhibit the enzyme integrase and thereby they prevent the integration of pro viral dna into the host dna now as you can see here these drugs they end with the graver so we can identify them with the graver in the end then another uh, drug is the uh, is the um, uh, anfuvertide now this uh, drug anfuvertide it binds to glycoprotein 41 and thereby it prevents the fusion of virus uh, with the host cell membrane and therefore uh, this drug is known as the fusion inhibitor now next category of drug is the ccr5 antagonist that is the meraviroc now meraviroc blocks uh, ccr5 chemokine receptors and thus it prevents the attachment um, it prevents the attachment of virus with the host cell so uh, this is the classification of uh, antiretroviral drugs now it's very important to remember all these categories and the different drugs that belong to each category because these type of questions are normally asked in the multiple choice questions now let's discuss pharmacology of each class of this these drugs now the first and the most important antiretroviral class is the nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors that is nrtis now uh, these are all uh, nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors except tenofovir tenofovir is nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitor now here we should know that uh, nucleotides consist of sugar base and a phosphate group and are the essential building blocks of dna and rna now nucleosides consist of sugar and a base but no phosphate group so phosphorylation of nucleosides produces nucleotides and then uh, those nucleotides they are utilized in the synthesis of dna uh, so these drugs are nucleoside analogs and their structure is similar to that of nucleosides now if these drugs they get phosphorylated they will resemble structure of nucleotides except tenofovir which is uh, which is a nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitor and therefore its structure resembles the structure of a nucleotide now zerovudine is a prototype drug uh, zerovudine is a thymidine analog so its structure is similar to that of a thymidine nucleoside now zerovudine is administered it reaches a host cell now the host cell kinases or the cellular kinases phosphorylates uh, zerovudine to zerovudine triphosphate now zerovudine triphosphate resembles a thymidine nucleotide now this zerovudine triphosphate it inhibits the viral enzyme reverse transcriptase and thus single stranded viral rna is not converted into uh, is not converted into double stranded uh, pro viral dna so pro viral dna is not synthesized now besides this the structure of zerovudine triphosphate resembles the structure of thymidine nucleotide so uh, the zerovudine triphosphate itself gets incorporated in the pro viral dna that is being synthesized in place of the actual thymidine nucleotide and this uh, causes termination of uh, pro viral dna chain elongation and pro viral dna synthesis stops so a uh, nucleoside and nucleotide uh, reverse transcriptase inhibitors inhibit or prevent hiv replication by inhibiting the synthesis of pro viral dna now this category of drugs they form the backbone of uh, antiretroviral therapy now let's study uh, the adverse effects of these drugs uh, now let's first understand uh, general adverse effects of uh, nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors uh, that are produced by most of these drugs now these drugs produce uh, mitochondrial toxicity now we all know that mitochondria is known as the powerhouse of the cell and mitochondria produces atp now these drugs they inhibit cellular mitochondrial dna polymerase enzyme 
and inhibition of this enzyme reduces synthesis of uh, ATP in mitochondria and reduced ATP causes uh, myopathy that is uh, uh, the weakness of muscles then peripheral neuropathy then uh, fatty acids are not metabolized so they build up in the liver and that results in hepatic steatosis and moreover because of uh, the lack of ATPs pyruvates are not metabolized to acetyl coenzyme A instead they are converted to lactic acid so this causes lactic acidosis another adverse effect of uh, these effects is the lipodystrophy uh, that causes abnormal fat distribution and there is loss of subcutaneous fatty tissue in the face extremities that is hands and the legs and buttocks and so these uh, body parts they tend to become uh, thin and instead uh, the fat gets accumulated in the liver uh, then muscles abdomen neck and the upper back and metabolic changes that are produced uh, include impaired glucose tolerance and hyper uh, lipoproteinemia uh, that is characterized by elevated triglycerides, elevated total cholesterol and reduced H HDL. Now additional drug specific adverse effects are like uh, zetovidine. Zetovidine can also cause uh, bone marrow suppression which results in anemia and neutropenia. Then it can cause uh, uh, melanonchia that is the uh, pigmentation of the nails then myopathy also occurs with the uh, zetovudine because of the reduced atp synthesis but uh, myopathy is uh, one of the general adverse effects of uh, zetovudine then uh, didanosin and stavudine uh, they can also cause uh, neuropathy and pancreatitis and use of uh, uh, didanosin and stavudine uh, have been declined because of uh, high toxicity compared to other uh, nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors. Then abacavir can produce potentially life-threatening hypersensitivity reaction uh, which is characterized by fever, rashes, abdominal pain, then uh, uh, respiratory distress and abacavir should be immediately stopped when the reaction occurs. Then uh, tenofovir, uh, which is a nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitor, it can produce nephrotoxicity. Now, these specific drug specific adverse effects are very important. Uh, these adverse effects should be uh, by heart. Uh, you need to by heart these adverse effects because many a times uh, these adverse effects they are asked in the multiple choice questions. Like uh, uh, you will be given many options and then you will be required to find out that the zetovudine causes out of these four options uh, which adverse effect is specific to zetovudine. So like for example zetovudine causes anemia, neutropenia, bone marrow suppression is uh, specific to zetovudine. Then hypersensitivity reaction is uh, uh, specific to abacavir. So, these are the adverse effects of uh, nucleoside and nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitors. Now, next category of uh, antiretroviral drugs are non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors that is NNRTIS. Uh, the drugs are nevirapine, efavirenz, then delaverdine. Now, very important, these drugs act directly. Uh, that means they do not require intracellular phosphorylation so these drugs they act directly and these drugs are the non-competitive inhibitors of uh, hiv reverse transcriptase so by inhibiting reverse transcriptase they prevent the formation of uh, proviral dna from viral rna this we have already discussed now again uh, very important uh, these drugs uh, they bind to reverse transcriptase at a different location than uh, nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors. That means uh, these, uh, these drugs, uh, they also bind to the enzyme reverse transcriptase, but they bind uh, to a place different uh, than the place where the NRTIS bind. 
that means these drugs they bind to the allosteric site of the enzyme reverse transcriptase so very important uh, these bind to reverse transcriptase at a different location then the binding site of nucleoside or nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitor so these drugs they bind to reverse transcriptase enzyme but they bind to the allosteric site of the enzyme reverse transcriptase that is only a uh, difference in the uh, non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors and uh, nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors then adverse effects of uh, nevirapine are uh, rashes rashes uh, are the most common adverse effects followed by nausea and vomiting now very important nevirapine is potentially hepatotoxic you must remember this that nevirapine is potentially hepatotoxic then adverse effects of uh, efavirenz are rashes headache it is also hepatotoxic but uh, lesser than nevirapine but uh, it is associated very important it is associated with the cns toxicity like appearance of vivid or crazy dreams uh, dizziness and insomnia efavirenz is teratogenic and it should not be given in pregnancy so these are the adverse effects of these drugs here you must remember that nevirapine is potentially hepatotoxic uh, whereas uh, efavirenz it produces uh, cns toxicity that causes appearance of vivid dreams dizziness and insomnia Uh, now the next category of uh, antiretroviral drugs are the protease inhibitors uh, the drugs are uh, uh, ritonavir then uh, atazanavir indinavir uh, nalfenavir then uh, sequinavir and lopinavir so you can see that uh, in each and every drug uh, every drug ends with the navir n a v i r Uh, now mechanism of action we have already discussed now these drugs inhibit viral protease enzyme by binding to uh, the active site of the protease enzyme now as protease is inhibit is inhibited viral uh, polyprotein is not cut or viral polyprotein is not cleaved into uh, functional uh, proteins and without the functional proteins like uh, Uh, reverse transcriptase uh, integrase immature and non infectious viral progenies are produced so this is the mechanism of action of protease inhibitors now general adverse effects of uh, these drugs are gastrointestinal intolerance that can produce nausea vomiting and diarrhea then uh, asthenia that is physical weakness headache dizziness then uh, limb and face tingling uh, numbness can also be produced and rashes can also occur then uh, uh, protease inhibitors are also known to produce uh, metabolic abnormalities like uh, dyslipidemia characterized by raised triglycerides and cholesterol then uh, these drugs they inhibit glut4 uh, that means these drugs they inhibit the glucose transporter 4 Uh, and therefore this results in the reduced uptake of glucose by the body cells and that causes the insulin resistance and result in the hyperglycemia so these drugs can cause hyperglycemia then lipodystrophy can also be produced causing uh, abnormal uh, obesity then buffalo hump that is the accumulation of fat on the upper back and then these drugs they can also cause wasting of uh, limbs and the face now additional uh, adverse effect that is uh, associated with the indinavir is the nephrolithiasis where crystals are formed in the kidney and these crystals they cause nephropathy now another very important consideration regarding the protease inhibitors is is, is its uh, uh, drug interactions now another important consideration regarding um, the protease inhibitors is the drug interactions now protease inhibitors inhibit as well as induce different cytochrome p450 isoenzymes and thus the uh, drug interactions with the uh, uh, these protease inhibitors are common and these are usually unpredictable
now in addition to this it is very important to understand uh, that uh, retonavir is known uh, is known to possess boosting effect now in low sub therapeutic doses uh, retonavir uh, when used with other protease inhibitors it increases the concentration of those drugs now what retonavir does is this that uh, retonavir inhibits cytochrome p450 enzyme and thereby it causes reduced metabolism of other uh, protease inhibitors and increase their concentration in the blood except uh, nalfenavir and therefore uh, retonavir has the boosting effect uh, now integrase inhibitors uh, the drugs are uh, raltigravir then dolutigravir then cabotigravir now all these drugs they end with gravir it's mechanism of action we have already discussed now we know that uh, uh, the integrase enzyme it nicks off or it cuts off the host chromosomal dna and it integrates the proviral dna with it so these drugs uh, they inhibit the viral uh, integrase enzyme and uh, therefore viral dna is not integrated in the host dna and this inhibits uh, the replication of virus this inhibits the hiv replication now adverse effects of uh, raltigravir now raltigravir causes rhabdomyolysis uh, that means it causes a breakdown of muscles so myopathy is the potential toxicity of raltigravir now breakdown of muscles causes um, elevated serum uh, creatine kinase and it also causes excretion of uh, myoglobin in the urine so this is all about the integrase inhibitors now another uh, antiretroviral drug is the enfuvertide now as we have already studied that uh, glycoprotein 41 which is present on the viral envelope it mediates fusion of virus uh, with the host cell membrane now enfuvertide binds to uh, the glycoprotein 41 and thereby it prevents the fusion of hiv envelope with the host cell membrane so it is known as a fusion inhibitor now another very important thing to understand here is this that uh, uh, enfuvertide is used as an add-on drug it is uh, used as an add-on drug and it is added to a particular anti-hiv regimen and that also only in selected patients where many earlier regimens have already failed now uh, uh, this drug is given by subcutaneous injection and these injections are painful and they can cause local nodules uh, or cyst now another retro anti retroviral drug is meraviroc now it is a ccr5 receptor inhibitor now meraviroc blocks ccr5 chemokine co-receptors so attachment of virus and uh, uh, attachment of virus to the host cell and subsequent entry in the host cell is prevented now meraviroc is also used as an add-on drug and it is added to a particular antiviral regimen only in selected patients where many earlier regimens have already failed now this drug should be used only in the presence of ccr5 co-receptors now adverse effects include cough then upper respiratory tract infections then fever hepatotoxicity and increased risk of infections and malignancy so this is all about the pharmacology of uh, antiretroviral drugs or anti hiv drugs now let's solve few multiple choice questions uh, on antiretroviral drugs uh, now the first question is viral hiv integrase inhibitor is uh, now uh, the four options are given and you have to identify integrase inhibitors uh, integrase inhibitor now if you remember i had told you that uh, uh, the drugs uh, that are integrase inhibitor they end with gravir so let's uh, see the four options uh, the first drug is maraviroc it is ccr5 antagonist then raltigravir 
So this Ralty Graver, this is the integrase inhibitor. So the correct answer is Ralty Graver. Ralty Graver is integrase inhibitor. Then uh, next drug is uh, Enfuvertide. This is a fusion inhibitor. Then Zidovudine. This is a nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor. So the correct answer is Ralty Graver. Then which protease inhibitor has boosting effect? So these four protease inhibitors are given here ending with NAVR and you have to identify the protease inhibitor which possesses the boosting effect. Now the correct answer is uh, ritonavir. Now ritonavir inhibits cytochrome P450 enzyme and therefore it inhibits metabolism of other protease inhibitors. Now since it inhibits metabolism of other protease inhibitors, what it does is this that it increases their concentration and therefore uh, it is known to possess this uh, boosting effect. So uh, ritonavir has the boosting effect and uh, the correct uh, answer is ritonavir. Then all our protease inhibitors except now you have to identify the drug which is not a protease inhibitor. So ritonavir ending with naver, then amprinavir ending with naver, protease inhibitor, then tenofovir. Tenofovir is not a protease inhibitor, it is a nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitor. Then nal, uh, nalfenavir. Uh, again, never in the end. So, these three are the protease inhibitor and tenofovir is not a protease inhibitor. Then enzyme that convert RNA to DNA. Now, remember here that the process uh, in which RNA is formed from the DNA or the DNA forms RNA is termed as transcription. Now, here the opposite thing is happening. Uh, the RNA is converted to DNA. So this is the reverse transcription. So the enzyme that converts RNA to DNA is the reverse transcriptase enzyme. Next question, all these are anti-HIV except you have to identify the drug which is not anti-HIV. Ritonavir, uh, then acyclovir, uh, didanosin, zidovudine. Now here acyclovir, acyclovir is the correct answer. Acyclovir is not anti-HIV but uh, acyclovir is anti-herpes virus drug. Then zidovudine is an analog of this we have studied. Zidovudine is an analog of thymidine. So the correct answer is a thymidine. Now drug that inhibit post translational modification of viral proteins. So we have to identify the drug that uh, inhibits the uh, modification of viral proteins. Now translation is a process by which uh, proteins are uh, synthesized from messenger RNA. Now relate this to the HIV replication. During the HIV replication, large polyprotein is produced and that polyprotein is modified. That, mo uh, uh, that polyprotein is cut by the enzyme protease into functional uh, proteins. So if you inhibit the enzyme protease, this uh, modification will be prevented. So here we have to identify the protease inhibitor. So the protease inhibitor is the drug that inhibit post translational modification of viral proteins. So and we know further that protease inhibitors they end with NAVR. So the options are indinavir. Yes, this is a protease inhibitor. Then enfuvertide, uh, lamivudine and zalcitabine. So the correct answer is the indinavir. Indinavir is the protease inhibitor that inhibit post translational modification of viral proteins. Then AIDS day is which day is known as the AIDS day. It is the December 1st which is known as the AIDS day. So these are the few uh, multiple choice questions on anti-HIV drugs. Uh, so, so, so this is all about the pharmacology of uh, antiretroviral drugs. Now please note that the information provided in this video is only for informative purpose. For treatment of AIDS or for use of any of the drugs consult your physician. And if you like this video kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.